uh, today I am going to do the purple cabbage squash scramble. Purple cabbage squash scramble. Purple cabbage squash scramble. Can we be real? I think all the hungry root stuff is a scramble. Because <laughs> you stick it in a pan and you scramble it up. Well, not all of it, you know what I mean. All of the hot stuff. <laughs> hot stuff. So you're going to do the um, fun little uh, fries, kale beet blend, my DJ name. Boom, shakalaka. And then the um, coconut curry, coconut curry, banana, bojanga. Um, you can find out what's in this thing. Oh yes, do you hear that searing up? I'm glad I'm making this video because otherwise I would probably just eat those. Um, anything interesting? Garbanzo beans, garlic nectar, jalapenos, dry coconut. Anyway, perishable, keep refrigerated, non-GMO, obviously, good, good, good. Consume within seven, don't you worry. I will consume immediately. All right, so let me mix this up and show you, show you what's going on here. So I've had the curry um, flavor before, as we know, in the Bangkok curry bowl. I'm going to tell you, I get the sinking suspicion that this will be good because it has that coconut curry sauce on it oh look this is so pretty though look at that the purple just really pops it's so pretty it's like an like a painting hey shawls are we gonna say that's tender i'm gonna say yes tender tender enough you know who, who has the time so the ever ever healthy curry powder, which we've seen before. All right, I usually don't like to use this big honking spoon for this, but one less thing to clean. So I'm turning this off and then mixing it in. Eh, you get the gist. Guess what, y'all? It's cooled down enough, and I've decided to be nice. <gasps> Treat yourself. Put it in a bowl. <laughs> I know. I mean, the rest is going in a to-go container and a real fork. I'm not going to eat from the thing. So I've decided that the the cute little beets in here smell amazing, and that was a cheat taste. That didn't count. I didn't really taste anything. So I'm going to go ahead and say I probably know that it's gonna be yummy and curry-y because that's using a lot of stuff, but. Those beets straight up make this. Cause it's a lot like whatever other dish had that curry sauce in it. The Bangkok curry bowl perhaps? Yes, ah yes, ain't that fresh. We, we like the beets in this one. And the colorful palette. That makes, they say, you know, the whole sensory experience of eating with your eyes and all that. I can't, I can't be bothered. I will say the monotony of things is getting to me a little bit. I'm, I'm hoping within the next few weeks that they spice up their sauces. Spice up meaning do something different and clearly when the when the sauce cools down a bit it um, solidifies which is kind of nice makes it creamy so this one I say go forth and put it in your box I'm in love with these beets right now have I mentioned that these dope beets okay also, did I tell you I was using avocado oil? I think I did. I think I'm, I think the winter's getting to me, y'all. My brain just isn't working. Oh, and do you like my little accessory for you? You're welcome. <laughs> well, there you go. The, the Let me see it again. Purple cabbage squash scramble. Because everything's a scramble. 
And I mean that in so many ways, not just the food. Life feels like a scramble sometimes. Okay. So thank you for watching. I hope it was mildly entertaining. I'm going to consume these calories and get on with, get on with the day. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day.